Hello everybody and many hugs. I hope everybody's having a good week and I don't have too much to share with you today. Um, I wanted to talk about Instagram and how um, I'm on there and I'm going to put a link below if you want to follow me. Mostly I just take pictures of my artwork so if you didn't um, <clears throat> if you haven't looked at them at, on my art site, you can um, subscribe to me on, or follow me on um, Instagram, and I'll link below what, the my name and stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I love Instagram. Um, I first saw it um, through this one girl I follow, I mentioned her before. Um, Emily Knoll, the blue blue haired princess, the adventures of a blue haired princess, and I was like, man, I want Instagram. But at the time, it wasn't available for Android phones yet. It was only for the iPhone, and I was like, I want you. So um, when it finally came out, I was so excited, and yeah. So like, I took pictures of everything. <laughs> no, not everything, but uh, um. You know, I, I like taking pictures. Um, um, if I go to like the mountains or whatnot, I always like to capture nature and its beauty and stuff. So anyway, yeah. So my Instagram is basically my art, my family, and beautiful things and owls. <laughs> You'll see a lot of owls on there, and um, and if you have some good stuff, I'll follow you back. Uh, I follow all my friends and then some people that I like, I like what they, they take pictures of. Um, but sometimes it's annoying because some people post like quotes and I don't really like that. I'm like, I don't want to see quotes. Post that stuff on Facebook or whatever. Just just do your, take pictures of stuff around the world, around you or something, but whatever. I mean. You can do what you want, I guess, but I just don't really like seeing that stuff. I just I want to see what's around you. Makes me want to go unfollow, but that's me. So, I mean, because they they put in other pictures and stuff, but then they have those quotes, and it's just like ugh, whatever. The best person that I follow, <clears throat> I always love her stuff, is a uh, Cat Von D. Her Instagram is pretty cool, and it's really cool that she keeps up with it and everything. I um, actually got the idea of daily drawing from her, because she was doing that for a while, and then she kind of stopped. But uh, that lady has such a busy schedule. She's here, she's there, she's everywhere. So yeah, she's pretty busy. Me, I, I just go to work, and, and then I draw. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Instagram. I love it. <clears throat> Do you take good pictures? Then then follow me and show me what you got. <laughs> and then the next thing I want to talk about is being sad. Like, what do you do when you become sad and 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 stuff? Like, I I love to be happy and smile and laugh and enjoy life, but sometimes. I get sad and I just and it sucks <laughs> so recently I was in a pretty bad mood <clears throat> like on Monday I just was in this terrible funk and I just couldn't get out of it I was like what am I gonna do I don't want to be sad so usually like depending on how I feel and whatnot um, Music usually helps. Like if I listen to some really good music, it'll kind of snap me out and just dance and move to the beat and everything. Um, if that's not working, um, watching a good movie. And I have, um, <laughs> oops, where it went. I have this like little um, case of like my favorite movies. My ultimate favorite movie is called Me, Mel Me, Myself, I. No, it's not Me, Myself, Irene with Jim Carrey. No. It's just this, like, um, kind of, I saw it on IFC, like, many eons ago, 
and um, I just remembered watching it and I was like it was like just before I had to go into work and I was like oh but I want to finish it so like uh, I, did, I had to leave and then I had like was like trying to find out when it was going to be on again so I would catch it and then I fell in love with it and I bought it and I was like yay and so um, other movies I have um, you might think it's weird but I like Rosemary's Baby. I don't know why I like Rosemary's Baby. It's just, I just do. <laughs> Mia Far I like Mia Farrow too. Her movies are good. Sorry I'm getting over this cough thing or it's like haunting me. It won't leave me alone. This cough, it's terrible. Um, I have The Hangover because it's like a freaking hilarious movie. If I'm feeling sad, I'll definitely pop in a comedy. That w that usually helps too. Um, let's see, Lost in Translation. It's a good movie. Have you seen that? Um, this is kind of weird. The Spanglish <laughs> with Adam Sandler. I don't know why I dig that movie too. Like it's so odd, but I do. It's like a <clears throat> just helps me feel better and I enjoy watching it. Just a movie I enjoy watching. Um, although that has in that one awkward scene with Adam Sandler and Tia, L Tia, whatever her last name is, where they have sex and it's just really odd. I hate that part. It's like the only part of the movie I don't like and it's like, oh, why do they have to put that in there? Um, let's see. Oh my gosh. Garden State? You have to like that. Well, you don't have to like it, but it's, it's just a quirky, cute little movie with some good music. It definitely has some good music. And then um, I took it out but because uh, I was about to watch it. Um, the House of Flying Daggers, that movie, and Memoirs of a Geisha. That's a good one, too. But, uh, yeah. Oh, and Kill Bill, which is out too. It sits over there and was looking at it. Because I um, <clears throat> usually like to watch movies as well when I draw. So, like, usually something I haven't seen. So I can just listen to it, draw my stuff out, and just have something, you know, so it's not just dead air around me or something. Or something on the TV that I don't want to watch or whatever. So just to, uh, I always usually put in a movie that I have seen so I can just draw and listen to it and, and get it in. Um, yeah, so when I'm feeling down I do like to watch movies that does help me. Also drawing helps too. But usually if I'm really sad I don't really want to do anything. I'll just lay there like a lump and, and just drown in my sorrow. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, I, I hope, I always try to get myself quickly out of my sadness mode because who wants to linger in that you know and then what do you do when your friends are sad I help them as best as I can but as I've learned only you can help yourself in trying to get out of whatever funk you are I mean yeah sometimes they can help you out but ultimately it's you who brings yourself out or bring or I bring myself out whatever but um yeah so music movies or drawing will help me food's not a comfort I don't really get like I don't get all sad and then try to eat a bunch it's not me mm -mm. but um so that's <clears throat> didn't know what to really talk about so I thought I'd pick two things <laughs> those two things Instagram and sadness <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to make a video this week that's what I'm trying to do make one every week and um, <clears throat> I wanted to show you a drawing I did of me and my best friend, who's also one of my my subscribers. <laughs> so shout out Melissa. And that's my drawing of me and my friend. <laughs> yeah, I don't like how I draw myself. I don't. I don't dig it at all. Or I shouldn't do a side one because I don't draw my nose very well. <laughs> but anyway, 
if you go, if you find me on Instagram, you'll see that picture and other ones that I've drawn. <laughs> and so I hope, um, check me out if you have Instagram. And I'll check you out. If you check me out, I'll check you out. <laughs> and see if you have some cool stuff that I'd like to, to keep following you and watching you. So have a good rest of your week. And hope you have fun plans for the weekend ahead. Um, that's pretty much it for this time around. So I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.